God bless Warrior Brides. My name is Linda. Welcome back to my channel. And those who hasn't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can become a part of the Warrior Bride family and go ahead and hit that bell so you can be alerted whenever I post a video. Praise the Lord. I want to first give God all the glory and all the praise for everything that he is doing in my life. And I'm just in awe of the Lord and I just love him so much. I love my God and I'm so thankful and so humble for everything that God is doing in my life. Praise God. So today I just wanted to share a uh, scripture and just some, some encouragement behind it. Praise God. And and it's in Psalms 89 verse 34. Psalms 89 34. And it reads that's follow King James Version. My covenant will I not break nor alter the thing that has gone out my lips. Praise God. Let me read that again. My covenant will I not break nor alter the thing that has gone out my lips. God is saying to you today, my sister and brother, whoever is listening to this video, this word, God does not need to change his mind and what he has spoken over you, what he has promised you. God does not need to alter what he has spoken. Praise God for his faithfulness. If God said it, he will do it. He will complete what he has said. He doesn't need to change his mind. The definition of alter means to to change or cause to change in character or composition. And it says in a small but significant way, God does not need to change his mind. He does need to, he does not need to adjust what he the word, the word that he has spoken. Praise God. He does not need to modify the word that he has spoken over you, that promise that he has given you. He does not need to revise. Praise God. He doesn't need to go back to the drawing board and say, oh no, I need to revise this word that God's word is holy and it's pure and we need to stop adding on to it. Praise God. God does not need to tailor his word. If he said it, he will do it. Praise God here in this scripture as says that he does not need to break his covenant with you. The Lord has made a covenant with you. Praise God. And we have made vows to the Lord. Praise God that we will stick through this process and that we will believe in him. I declare this word over you. I declare this scripture over you. Praise God. And I pray that today you say to yourself and that you memorize this verse. Praise God. And you say Psalms. 89.34, my covenant will I not break nor alter the thing that has gone on my lips. God does not need to change, revise, modify the word that he has spoken over me. Praise God for his faithfulness. God is faithful. He does not change like shifting shadows. God does not need to change his mind. God does not need to go back to the drawing board. My sisters and brother, you are going to stand on the word God has given you, that promise that he has given you. Praise God. You can change your mind. Men can change your mind. People that have been in your life has changed their mind and has said, something and didn't come through with it but that's not god you're we're, we're talking about god praise god to this day we see the word that he has spoken into this creation when he created the world we still that that word still exists today everything that he has spoken into existence still exists to this day because that word is pure that word is holy and we see it today if we see the creation the word that god has spoken over still living still existing what about the word that he has spoken over you. When you have much more value, when you have more more value, more life to God, more significant, you were created in the image of God. Praise the Lord. So I pray over you today and I pray that you believe. Say to yourself today, God is not going to alter. God does not need to modify. I just have to go through this process. I may see the opposite right now. I may, I may be seeing totally the opposite of what God has promised me. God is faithful. He didn't change his mind. He's not revising the word that he has spoken. He don't need to improve that word that he has spoken. Praise God. He doesn't need to, to reorder some things of that word that he has spoken. It's going to come to pass. He does not need to tweak that word that he has spoken over you, my sister and brother. And I pray that you continue believing in the Lord and don't allow the enemy to steal your promise. Don't allow the enemy to change your mind what God has spoken over you. Don't allow the enemy to steal your promise. Stand on that word that God has spoken over you. 
Praise God. I hope that this scripture encouraged you today to believe in God. God bless my warrior brides and you have a blessed, blessed, blessed day.